Peace, love, and light to you, my dear Libras. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Welcome to my channel. I'm Butterfly Tarot, and it is I, the Butterfly. And I'm here to give you this April 2021 Celtic Cross spread for uh, or your relationship as a love reader. I would like to say if you are new to my channel and you like the content on my channel, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for returning and supporting me. Um, <clears throat> so I'm not going to delay, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm not going to delay getting into this reading. It's a health cross spread, so it's going to be talking about what's going on, and, uh, it goes through the current situation, cross energy, underlying energy, past energy, crowning thoughts, fears, how they see you. Hopes and wishes and nothing. And I will pull some advice cards as well. <clears throat> I'm doing these readings by the views. Because it's kind of upsetting to do a whole lot of readings. And then, you know, people don't watch them. And then, you know, it's wasted energy. So I go by who gets the most views first. <clears throat> So if you want your reading done sooner, um, you guys got to watch those videos. It's early in the morning here, so I'm trying to get this out. <clears throat> Alright, so what is the current situation concerning my Libras? and their love life and the person that they're dealing with. All right, uh, that looks like the Ten of Cups. You're waiting for your Ten of Cups. You're waiting for success and victory in a relationship situation, possibly a marriage. Or, or the birth of a child. Or just success in general. And that's what it's saying here. So, <clears throat> the current situation, it's early in the morning here. So, my throat's still kind of, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's groggy, but. So, the uh, current situation is the Seven of Coins. It's talking about investments. Putting in the hard work. Um waiting patiently for the seeds that you have planted to come into fruition. Okay, cross and energy. Six of pentacles, which is the six comes before the seven. So it says that you're working up to something. It looks like you're working up to a successful, committed relationship, okay? What's the underlying energy? This the, the nine of swords. So it says to me that this is bothering you, that you are uh, constantly thinking about the status of your relationship. And I'm... I'm going to, you know, explore further, but it looks to me like you may not be in a relationship or the person that you are thinking about is like they have you on hold or you don't know if you should further invest or not. But with the nine of swords is saying to me that you're, you're, um, you're rather restless about the situation, um, not sleeping at night. This is constantly plaguing your mind. You're constantly worried about which way your relationship is going. Okay. Past energy, three of swords, that's why. Heartache and pain. So there was some disappointment, some sadness, some heartache, some pain. You know, your heart was broken, possibly, most likely your heart was broken by this person. And so that is telling me that with the underlying energy, that there may be uh, hopes for reconciliation. Because at the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Cups and the Six of Wands in reverse and the Hangman, okay? So it's saying that you're waiting around after something has failed. The relationship that you have been in has been a relationship that has not given you uh, the recognition, the success. The, it's not going into the direction that you would like for it to go, okay? Your hopes and dreams have not been fulfilled yet in this relationship. And with the Three of Swords in the past energy is saying that you have suffered much disappointment. That not only much disappointment, this person probably did something 
to break your heart. It could be a third party situation. The reason why I always say that is because the three swords tend to deal with a third party situation. Or it's just saying that you're just heartbroken. And this is something that is plaguing your mind. Okay. So we're going to go to the crown of thoughts. What are the crown of thoughts for my dear Libras? Or the person that they are dealing with. <clears throat> it's early in the morning here, y'all. I just got up. I said, let me start cranking out these readings. I'm trying to do them in a systematic way so I can keep up with things. Um, but yes, I'm doing these readings by um, the views. You know, who gets the most views? Libra always seems to get the most views. Libra and Capricorn and Sagittarius sometimes. And sometimes Scorpio as well. All right. Boredom, discontent. Boredom and discontent. <clears throat> King of Cups, Sunny Burst. You could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Ten of Swords. Okay, this person did do you wrong. All right, th that's what happened. So you're currently displeased with the way that this this relationship has been going. Either if you're not, I, I'm thinking you're not together because there's a, there's a Ten of Swords here, so that's talking about that there has been uh ending to your relationship due to betrayal three of swords ten of swords and then we have the four of cups and we have that the king of pentacles or not king of pentacles king of cups in the reverse so it's saying to me in your common thoughts that you are very displeased with this person look at that you put in all this work look you got the six seven and the eight you put in all this work. You were hoping that this would lead up to something. And it seems like it just led into failure. And this person most likely betrayed you. The King of Cups in reverse can be a selfish person at times. He could be an unloving, caring person, uncaring person. Uh, it could mean that you ever withdrew your per you, you withdrew your love from this person because of what they have done to you. Or is saying that because of what this how this person is. That you, you're like, you're just, if you're in a relationship with this person right now, it's saying that you hate the way things are right now. And you're waiting for things to change for the better. You're looking at the time that you have invested in this relationship. And you, you're, you're, you're saying, do I want to throw this all away? But right now, currently, you're completely displeased with how things are. They could have betrayed you and you are still in a relationship with them. If not, they could have betrayed you and you kind of like wish that you could turn this around. But you know that you can't accept a relationship for how it used to be. Okay? But you're looking at all the work you put into this relationship and you feel as though that it has not paid off. Okay? That's how, how the crown of thoughts. And that's what caused you to move on. The Six of Swords. So after much disappointment, that's what it's saying. After much disappointment in this relationship, you decided to move on because the person you were dealing with might be a Leo was very selfish, self-centered, and they were not giving you. You were get that. That's what it's saying. It's saying that this is saying to me that you were giving it your all in this relationship to please this person, and this person could not be pleased. They could not be pleased. No matter what you tried, they 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 could not be pleased. And so after much disappointment and, and just, you know, exhaustion, you just feel like you were just putting in all this work, you finally just gave up and left. And if you have not already left, these are your chronic thoughts of what you're about to do, is that you are about to leave this person because because uh, you're exhausted. You're exhausted. The Eight of, of Pentacles. Look at that. This is hard work. This is hard work. You're exhausted. Look at her. She, she's trying to make a pentacle out of thorns. And so you're thinking about moving on because the person that you're dealing with, it they're not holding up their end of the bargain. And like un, like I said, under the, the uh, underlying energy on the deck was that Ten of Cups. And underneath that was a Six of Wands in reverse. So it's saying that you have been trying to get this person to give you what it is that you desire in a relationship. What do you desire? You re desire reciprocity. You desire commitment. You desire love. You know, you desire success. You desire passion. Anything that anyone wants in a normal relationship. And it's saying that this person is not giving it to you. Like I said, if you are in a relationship with them or you are currently on a break, you're trying to see if either you should move on or you are with this person. If you're with this person, you're considering leaving them. And if you are not with this person, you're looking at if it's, if it's worth giving a second look or if you, if you should just go on about your business and keep on keeping on. So 
So what is about to happen? <clears throat> the full card. Hmm. Why is this full card here? Let's see what it says. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Wow. So we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. We have the Two of Coins in reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So that's telling me that you're, you're, you're choosing. You're making a rough choice. Because... You're trying, all right, two of uh, coins is juggling, but it's it's taking on, like, you're taking on too much. Like, you're making this choice because of the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Cups. You feel as though that there's just not enough love and there's not enough clarity about where this relationship is going to keep you here. So it looks like you are striking it out to, to go into the unknown, you know, while still maintaining. What is it that you fear concerning this situation? The tower. You're afraid of this breakup. You're afraid how this is going to affect your life. You're afraid of the stir up that this is going to create for you. What else? Why is this tower here? The lovers in the reverse. Wow. You can't make that up. So, alrighty. Let's go back to here. So we have the full card, the Ace of Swords. So, okay. So now with this being the fears, we're going to go back to here. Why are you going? It says what's about to happen. You have the choice to either leave or to hang on to a situation that, that is not meeting your needs. Four cups. So that is the problem. So this is talking about if you are still in a relationship with this person that you're having a problem with moving on because you have no clarity about where this relationship is going to go, Ace of Swords. And with the Ace of Cups in reverse, you're afraid that you will not be able to find love. You're afraid to start over. You're afraid to lose love and to start over or the possibility of not finding love. So how do people that know you... Hold on. See, look at that. How, I was about, how do people who know you see your situation? They see you standing up for something that is bringing you much grief. If you are the Queen of Swords, you are very disappointed with how your relationship is. is, is you're holding on to a relationship that's making you miserable. Why are you doing this to yourself? Because that's what it's saying. The reason why you're doing this to yourself is because of what you fear. You're afraid that you will be alone. You will, you're afraid that you will not find your right mate. Okay? Queen of Swords in reverse is the bitch of the tarot. She's a very miserable person. I'm just saying you're Libra. That is your card. Uh, your air sign. Doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's saying that you're trying to, to defend a relationship and holding on. You remember, this is a general reading, so this very well may not be your story, okay? But, you know, if this is your story saying that people see you as holding on to a relationship and defending a relationship that is making you miserable. So that that that's very clear here. You're still holding on. You're still trying to put in the work and you're trying to see if you should walk away or not. Even though this is bringing you much anxiety, making you much depressed, you know, making changing your nature. So what is it, is it that you wish for? When those cards come up in the reverse, I got th four cards. I just pulled four. When they're all coming up in reverse, it's talking about, all right, so the devil. I would say the devil, the devil and temperance in reverse. Those are major arcana cards. And you might be done with Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, Knight of Cups in the reverse and the Nine of Coins in reverse. It looks like all this stuff, because the devil is here, what all these cards represent, I'm looking at a complete reform. 
meaning that you wish you had the confidence to be single, to go on your own, to be able to, you might be like holding on to this person because of financial reasons. This person may be a financial contributor to you. And so therefore that's why you're holding on to the situation because the nine of coins in the reverse talks about one, um, who may be financially struggling. They could talk about deceit and deception and stuff like that. And it could talk about codependency and one who wishes not to be single. You know, somebody who's in a relationship because they're codependent. And then we have temperance in reverse. Temperance in reverse is a lack of a compromise. Temperance in reverse is a lack of compromise. It's a lack of, of coming together. It's, um, it's an imbalance. And then we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Knight of Cups in reverse could be a self-centered energy person. You know, someone who does things out of uh, what suits them and not for the collective. Um, and it could be somebody who has unrealistic expectations in a relationship. So with the Devil card in the reverse, it's saying that you want to get rid of all these things. If these things are all aspects of yourself, you want to get rid of those things because those things are the very things that are holding you to this person and the situation. You want to be more independent. You want to be more realistic about relationships. You want to um, be balanced and get your life together and not be dependent on anybody in order to, to make you happy in this life. And right now you feel like you're you're at a crossroads where you want to be happy and the current situation is not making you happy. But at the same time, are you strong enough to leave and stay away? The devil card in the reverse. So it's saying that you're wishing for strength to to uh, to get rid of all these different toxic aspects of yourself that hinders you and and you having a clear and a healthy relationship. A relationship that's going to fill your cup. A relationship that's going to, This relationship that you have had or that you are currently in is not filling your cup. Ace of Cups are in first. And it's still not going to fill your cup. But are you going to hold on to it because it no longer serves you? That is some soul searching that you have to do if you wish it to go forward. You don't have to do it. You could continue with things as they are. But is it fulfilling your needs? Is it fulfilling your heart and your desire? So what's about to happen? The death card. Death card talks about a literal death. It talks about an ending, a, a definite ending. But it also talks about transformation because it is Scorpio. Scorpio is transformation, okay? Why is this death card here? <clears throat> So you're at a crossroads right now with your current situation. Should you stay or should you go? Should you hold on to this situation because you're being codependent? Or should you get stronger to, to finally walk away? It looks like a transformation is coming, rather if it's an ending or if it's a, a you know, the situation that you're currently in may change for the better. We will see. No, 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 no. You're moving on. Yes. You're moving on. That's what it looks like to me. Because it looks like <sighs> Page of Cups in reverse, the, set, the Five of Swords, and the Eight of Swords, freeing oneself from one self imposed prison. Um, what one has done to oneself. Seeing the bigger picture. Ten of Coins. Five of Swords. There's been some deception. This person has been doing you dirty. Okay? They've been doing you dirty. Page of Cups in reverse is saying that this this is just not going to work. You guys are on different pages and you know this. So it looks like the outcome is to walk away. If I were just to have this card alone, it still would say transformation or walk away. This, cup, uh, this Page of Cups along with that is saying that you're no longer going to invest your time and your energy and effort to a situation. The Five of Swords talks about winning at all costs, cake and eat it too. Also self-sabotage. You know, the Five of Swords is self-sabotage or somebody who sabotages the situation. But also the Five of Swords, when it goes in reverse, it means that something came to light. Sort of like the Seven of Swords and the Moon card and, and, and the High Priestess. That, that the deceptions 
you know, you, you're having a harsh reality about the deceptions that you stayed in, in this relationship longer than what you needed to. And it possibly could have been that the reason why you stayed there is because of the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, which is talking about children. You may have a family with this person. So it's saying that this person is just not fulfilling your needs. And it is time for you to make the decision to move on. Okay? So, um, yeah, let's. I mean, that's that's the outcome. I'm just going to pull a couple cards from here to see if it says anything else. And then I have to go because I got to get on out of here. I got to, I got to. I'm going to be posting readings as I make them throughout this week because I have this thing going on called life. And I just, I want to get to everybody. Conflict and defeat. Five of swords. Again. Okay. So it's saying that it's time to move on. Six of Swords. It's time to get in that boat, take the kids, the snack packs, and go. Re rest and rejuvenation. It's time to go. Four of Swords. This this situation. You got all swords, all thoughts, all thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Okay, triumph in the reverse. That's the, the cherry cart or not? Yeah, cherry cart in the reverse. So it is time to move on, my dear. It's time to move on, my dear Libras. You gave it a good fight. You try to hang in there. I know you have time and stuff invested in this relationship and you have been patient waiting for it, waiting for it to turn around. You have much lost much sleep over this. It's brought you much anxiety and grief and your heart has been broken time and time again. And to no avail, you have tried to fix the situation and you know in your heart of hearts and in your mind of minds that it's time to move on. Do not fear not being able to find love. Love will find you. Don't stay in a situation that's going to make you bitter. Be strong enough. Instead of wishing it, make it happen. Face your fears and conquer your low side so that you won't be so dependent on a person that leaves you in a relationship that is not filling your cups. Okay? You can do it. Two of coins say that you're going to be, it's going to be not, it's going to be difficult, but you can do it. And the outcome is, is that it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to transform and, uh, decide to, to, uh, let go of what no longer serves you. That is my reading for you, my dear Libras. I will catch you on the next reading. I will have more readings posted by the end of this week. Have all, all of them up. Uh, thank you for your patience. I'm sending you peace, love, and light from my heart chakra to yours. And I'm wishing you all the best. Peace and so much love. Thank you and goodbye.